Good evening, folks. It's uh, Monday, March 4th, 2019, 6.30 p.m. This is a public meeting of the school board of West Bend Joint School District Number 1. More than 24 hours prior to the meeting, notice of the time, place, date, and subject matter of this meeting was posted in each school building, the entrance doors at the ESD, and at the West Bend Community Memorial Library. A copy was also sent to the Daily News, WVKV, Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, and other media sources who have requested notice of our meeting. Deb, can you confirm this meeting was properly posted? Great, thanks. Please stand for the pledge. Thank you. Uh, my friend Nancy Justman will be here any minute. She had a work thing she was presenting at tonight. She said she'd be here as soon as she could. My friend Tani Schmidt is out of town tonight, and uh, Chris thought it'd be a good idea to appoint Kurt as our acting clerk tonight. Are you willing to do that, Kurt? Great. I love it when people volunteer me for things, too. So, <laughs> All right. Uh, we've got a, a nice agenda tonight with a lot of recognition. Thank you all for being here. Uh, hopefully our board members have had a chance to look that over. I will make a motion to approve tonight's agenda. Second. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. Any opposed? And motion carries. We will start with recognition of our West girls bowling team with Aaron. ladies. Very cool. Thank you. Can we have Olivia Burns come up? Let's have the East Girls Bowling team up.
Way to go. How about the East Boys team? Steph Sydney Spaeth. <laughs> Congratulations. Let's have the swim and dive team up.
Thank you. Congratulations. Let's have the East Wrestling team up. Thank you very much. I'm going to turn it over to Libby and Jacob for our high school update. All right, as Coach Hentrell said, it's great seeing all both East and West athletes here getting recognized for both uh, their state qualifying and sectionals and such. It makes Libby and my job a lot easier. Um, and also to the swimmers, it takes me about a minute to swim one lap of the pool, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm pretty impressed by those times. Uh, so in East Athletics, uh, East Boys Basketball finished their playoff run uh, last Friday in a tough battle against Port Washington. The boys are saying goodbye to seniors Dylan Polster, TJ Simpson, Jack Weedmeyer, and Zach Smith. Uh, last week, Dolphin Synchronized Swim began their uh, first week of practice. So everyone, mark your calendars. The last week of April, it's going to be a show. You're not going to want to miss it. The Winter Guard completed, competed in Schaumburg yesterday and took third place. They will be competing again this weekend in Illinois. East and West Forensics competed in Sheboygan. This wait, East to West we, uh, in Sheboygan this w last weekend, and East took fifth as in the large team division, with both teams taking home many trophies. And then finally, senior scholarship interviews are going to be next week. So if you see any seniors around town, give them a pat on the back, tell them to do a good job because they're probably going to be needing it. <laughs> <laughs> um, in a few things with West Athletics, freshman Bree Martin took seventh place at Powerlifting State this weekend with an astounding 632. 0.5 pound total between her squat, bench, and deadlift weights. So that was very impressive. <laughs> um, also, some upcoming things, even though we're in the transition between winter and spring sports, indoor track is already getting into motion with girls and boys varsity competing at the UW Parkside Invitational Saturday, March 16th. Also, this Friday, there will be 24 talented um, high schoolers um, competing at the talent show in the auditorium on Friday, March 8th. Believing at I be, be uh, beginning at I believe um, 6:30, so you can go and check out all of those great acts. And then also next week we have Charity Week, which is very exciting. Monday um, we will be collecting for March of Dimes. Tuesday the Gingerbread House. Wednesday Blue Lotus Farm and Retreat Center. Thursday Fossman Lab Juvenile Diabetes, and Friday the 9/11 Memorial. And on Saturday um, there will be a char charity dance with Kiwaskum as well. Um, that will also be benefiting the 9-11 Memorial. We've had a lot of generous donors around the community um, providing match grants, and for the 9-11 Memorial, there's an unlimited match grant, so any contributions from uh, people in the community are appreciated, and we're looking forward to seeing how that all goes. So thank you again for having us. Thank you very much. Is there anybody here wishing to address the board tonight for public participation? 
If not, folks, we're going to move on with our agenda. I would love for you all to stay, but this is typically where you all leave. So uh, <laughs> if, you, uh, if you would like to leave, I'll give you a chance to do that. Thank you all. <laughs> Thank you all for being here. Is it really? Thank you. Thank you, Molly. Silver medal at the Science Olympiad. Not science. I bet you were a math lead too, weren't you? I was a math lead. All right, let's move along with our agenda. Uh, next up is our consent agenda. Tonight on the consent agenda is minutes of our February 25th regular board meeting and disbursements posted to March 4th. I move to approve the consent agenda. Second. Motion by Nancy, second by Chris. Any questions on the consent agenda? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes. Next up are action to action items tonight. The first is our Wisconsin Standards for Social Studies. I move to approve the adoption of the Wisconsin Standards for Social Studies. Second. Motion by Chris, second by Nancy. Any questions? Discussion? Yes, Mr. Schmidt. No questions, just a comment. I actually I think we've only had these for about, uh, this is going on maybe a second week. Hasn't been weeks as far as I know. <laughs> uh, I really didn't have a lot of time to dig into them. Did a uh, cursory review. And I don't know that I can wholeheartedly support all of these as such. And there was a statement in the uh, Social Studies Inquiry and Practices, Pro uh, and, Practices and Processes it said advances in human knowledge come about not because people can memorize factoids, in other words, facts, or were great at filling out worksheets in school. Rather, they come about when people ask questions and pursue those questions in uh, uh, reasonable, self-critical ways. I happen to disagree with that. I think we do need facts. If you uh, don't have the facts, you really cannot speak intelligently on, on uh, many of these subjects. I think we see uh, probably evidence of that in the, the public arena, certainly, um, in the political arena, uh, someone with uh, uh, a university uh, degree uh, is talking about things that just cannot happen, won't happen. Um, it's, uh, and it would be very uh, uh, detrimental to our economy if they ever did. Um, getting rid of, uh, uh, I guess, airline travel and so on, that uh, doesn't make sense. And so, um, and there's a couple of other things too, but for that reason, uh, uh, some of these have some concerns about, and the other is I didn't have really a chance to dig into them. I'll be abstaining. Any more questions or discussion on this? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? And one, uh, abstention. I assume, an abstention. Okay. So that motion passes uh, five to zero with one abstention. Our next action item tonight is going to have to be pushed back to our next board meeting because we're not all here to vote on it tonight. For our second readings, we have to have a full board to vote. But we will consider this our second reading of 
uh, revised board policy 432, which is school attendance areas and interdistrict transfers. So uh, if there's any further questions or discussion on that, we can do that tonight, but we unfortunately can't vote on it. Any more questions on this one? We'll bring it back in two weeks for a third reading and a vote. Great, thank you, Laura. We'll move along to our reports tonight, our Head Start self-assessment and community assessment. Is Sharon, Sharon Keyless doing that one?
Yeah, do we do any kind of tracking, like from an academic perspective, that says kids who participated in four-year-old um, Head Start by their third grade, they were reading proficient or above? Like, is there any academic data to support the early interventions that we as a district have, even just to market or promote the program? I was just curious. Thank you. Matt, how close are we to capacity and Head Start? When would parents start to register for next year? Sure. So registration, we have returning families in May, and then we have new families get up to in July and August. We also register families for Great, thank you very much. Next we're gonna talk about career and technical education. And I think Jennifer Martin's gonna introduce that. I don't think that mic's been on all night. I'm Mr. Johnson. I teach engineering classes here at the high school. The engineering classes are part of the technology and education department. In particular, I teach uh, three different classes. One of them is digital electronics, one of them is principles of engineering, and one of them is introduction to engineering design. In those classes, we design, build, and test solutions to problems all year long. So a lot of it is hands-on, a lot of it is 3D modeling on the computer, a lot of it is simulating circuits, uh, but we're active the whole time. You work on your knowledge, your technical knowledge, and your technical skills, and especially, again, your problem-solving skills during those classes. My name is Mr. Momus. I teach architecture, construction, and engineering classes here at the high school. Uh, my construction classes 
are mostly hands-on classes with an introduction to residential construction. And in my advanced class, we are actually on site uh, building things for clients out in the community. Uh, both of them give you a very good introduction to the profession as a whole and allow you to explore different options within those two areas. Uh, anybody who enjoys hands-on and problem-solving type classes, I would highly recommend taking these courses and explore different options for them. Hi, I'm Mr. Vento, the digital media teacher here at the West Bend High Schools. The courses that we offer are Intro to Digital Media, Intro to Web and App, Advanced Photography, Advanced Video Production, and Advanced Animation. Through these courses, you will learn Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Premiere Pro. Hi, my name is Mr. Gooder. I'm the manufacturing teacher here at the high school. Uh, manufacturing consists of uh, robotics, machining, and welding. If you like working with your hands, if you like doing some programming and learning about exciting technology, these will be the classes for you. Come and check them out. My name is Gerald Sorcy. I'm the automotive instructor here at West Bend High School. We have an intro to automotive course, which I recommend for anyone that wants to have an automobile. We're going to do a lot of things in the lab. We're going to be going oil changes, tire rotations, um, working a lot of hands-on type stuff, so getting you uh, accustomed to working on your own vehicle. We also do some uh, hot rod builds and some high power stuff just to get you excited and, and see the cool stuff that has to come into the automotive industry. So if you're interested in something automotive related, come and see us down here in the automotive wing. I'm Mr. Blaskowski. I'm one of the tech ed teachers here at the high school. My specific area is graphic communication. Students learn the basic software programs like Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, and Adobe InDesign. Students then take the skills and the knowledge that they learn on those programs and create their own products. So they design things like t-shirts, uh, notepads, coffee mugs, mouse pads, uh, we got flip-flops, fishing lures, jewelry boxes, all sorts of different products. So if you're interested in a career in graphic design, uh, printing technology, or you just want to make your own cool stuff, uh, sign up for these classes. So thank you for listening to me. I'm looking forward to seeing you uh, hopefully next fall. Hi guys, my name is Ms. Schlatz and I am a family and consumer science teacher here at the West Bend High School. Uh, the classes that I teach is all of our design classes. I teach intro to the design world, fashion design, and interior design. Um, really great classes. You learn some great life skills in this class. Regardless if you want to be a designer or not, um, you're going to learn how to sew a button and use a sewing machine. Um, our interior design class is a TC credit class. Um, one of the things that we do is this project right here, which is build a house. Um, it's a really great class. I hope that you guys all come in and take it with us and enjoy it. Thanks. Hi, I'm Sally Hoyer. I am the high school culinary and hospitality instructor. Um, in addition to teaching multicultural foods, which is the class that comes right after personal culinary, I am also in charge of our Pro Start 1 and 2 classes, um, who also operate our student-led restaurant, The Nifty Nibble, as part of a lab setting situation. I, finally, I do co-op, so I also supervise students who work out in the community in the food service areas. We welcome all of you to come and try our culinary classes here at the high school, and um, hope that you will find some that you like and you will stick with it. Hi, I'm Mrs. Sorcy. I teach the early childhood education classes in the Family Consumer Science Department. Our objective for the early childhood education classes are to not only teach children how to be good parents and care for children, but also to have the career-based skills. Um, our intro level course is parent-child development. We also have three advanced level courses that are transcripted through Moraine Park, also career-based. And we have our intro to education courses. So. I hope to see you in my classes. Hi, I'm Mrs. Holzer. I teach in the Business and Information Technology Department here at the high schools. I primarily teach the Business Administration Program, which is a national program that we have adopted for students really interested in pursuing a business career in the future. We also offer IT classes, programming, finance, a little bit of a lot of different areas in the business world. Most of our classes are hands-on and can provide you a good insight to a possible future career.
Max, could I put you on the spot? I know you're going to the Savannah College of Art and Design, is that correct? Would you share with us how this program influenced you going to college and what you're planning to pursue at college? Guys, that was great, great video. And you know, when we talk about all the cool opportunities that we have at West Bend that aren't in other districts, that, that really showcases a lot of them. And I went up that day, Jacob was, is, was a part of that and was talking my ear off about a company that he has developed and products that they're actually gonna make and sell. And, and but not just that, he learns QuickBooks and he learns accounting and, and economics and all the things that go with it. It's really, really impressive. For board members who haven't been on a tour up there, um, talk to Don and we'll get you up there because it's really, really cool. So. Nice job. And just to just piggyback a, one more story from when I took the tour, um, there there were individuals, it's great to see the digital media team actually producing a great promotional video for that. We need to promote it more and more. But there was also an individual that was working at Metalcraft and Mabel, and he was excited. He got an internship there, right? And, and he's studying and looks forward to graduating and working for Metalcraft and Mabel getting right out in the workforce, just one of many examples of kids exploring CTE classes. And so thank you for the promotion. And yes, this is a great tour. <laughs> I'll just add on, I did reach out to Representative Rick Gundrum just to thank him for attending that particular day to CTE, and he was just so impressed with it. And he also acknowledged that he is a huge proponent for developing this and anything he can do within our schools and district-wide to help facilitate these programs to be sure to reach out to him as well. So work together. Thank you. Well, thank you. Mr. Swigert, I'm going to turn it over to you for an update on our policy meeting from earlier tonight. All right, and the update will be brief. We did meet as a policy committee uh, tonight at 5.30 p.m. and continued our discussion around revised board policy 345.4a, acceleration. And we're going to be continuing our, uh, our work, and we'll no doubt see this come back to a future policy committee meeting. That's it. Great. Thanks, Superintendent Kierkegaard. Senator Gundrum is going to be here on Friday, so he's going to spend the, the afternoon with me, uh, Friday afternoon. And so also he featured part of our presentation when he was here on the February 18th um, for our visit, and he highlighted some of the West Bend programs in his update that he sends across the area. And so uh, I'm very appreciative of the support he gave and he, like Tiffany said, is a huge supporter of uh, CTE and so did a very nice job in his article. A um, couple quick things. One is I'm pleased to announce that we have had no snow days since last week when I made an <laughs> announcement. So we're still on track for the same, same process that we had before and hopefully, knock on wood, we, we have had our last of our snow days and we have a plan in place. Uh, the last comment that I would make, Deb is going to send out a meeting calendar doodle tomorrow to look at a possible uh, committee of the whole for the week of April 8th. And so April 8th, we would like to have a committee of the whole. Uh, Mr. Hamelman will then be presenting the information on the 
teacher compensation plan. They have completed their last of the uh, uh, work groups. They've had a study or work group that has got together uh, numerous times. They had the last meeting, I want to say maybe a week or uh, uh, ago, two weeks ago, working on that information. We'll present that to you at that meeting, and so we're looking at it as a committee of the whole as the best way for that to happen. So that's all I had. Great, thanks. And you said April 8th. The week of April 8th. The week not, of April 8th. It's not Monday the 8th, but it'll be one of those days this week, and we'll, that week we'll try to figure out what works best for everybody. Great. Thank you. Looking at our calendar, we've got a couple of referendum open houses. The first one is on March 7th at 7 p.m. at Jackson Elementary School. The next one's at March 11th at 7 p.m. up at the high school, and I believe that one meets in the East uh, Cafeteria. Our next regular board meeting is on March 18th. Uh, then our next meeting after that is April 1st. Um, the other thing to note on, on the calendar for the good of uh, information here anyway is uh, there's a candidate forum scheduled for three um, people who are running for school board, which is going to be held at the city council chambers at 6 o'clock on March 19th. Any other questions or comments about our calendar or upcoming events? I will make a motion to enter into executive session pursuant to Wisconsin State Statute 19.851C to consider employment, promotion, compensation, or performance evaluation data of any public, public employee over which the governmental, the governmental body has jurisdiction or exercises responsibility and take any such action if necessary based on its discussion, namely a personnel discussion. Second. Any questions on that motion? We're going to meet upstairs in our normal... Uh, uh, closed session room there, and I will take a roll call vote with Kurt. Yes. 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 All right. We are now in closed session. Thank you. Yeah, I was going to say for you governmental kids here tonight, you got a good meeting that you attended because it was a quick one. <laughs> and we can sign your.